Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I know it's been so long since I've posted on here. I'm really sorry. It has been just so hectic the past few weeks. It was midterm season so I had a lot of assignments to do and then I got very sick. Um, and luckily I had a bunch of ASMR videos pre-filmed so you guys didn't notice that too much on my ASMR channel but I did get very very sick for over a week but I am back and so it's been really requested for me to do a how to get into Queens or like tips for getting into Queens University um, I'm pretty sure that the date for applications is already long past but I felt bad that I didn't get to do this video so I'm really really sorry that it's not on time but hopefully this can help if you're applying next year um, or just I don't know, help you in some capacity. So again, I'm really sorry it's late, but hopefully this helps you. I also just want to preface this by saying I am Queen's Commerce. So my tips are mainly for people who are looking to go into Queen's Commerce. Commerce is the business program. Um, because I'm, I mean, I'm not health side. I don't really know what the prereqs are for getting into sciences or arts. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Um, I only know about commerce because that's what I apply to. So I'll talk about my application process for that um, and my high school grades and all of that good stuff. So hopefully it helps. So in high school, grade 12, I took all the mandatory courses, English, math, yada, yada, all of that stuff. I was also French immersion, so I had to take French. And then I took a couple of electives, including, um, finance which was like really broad not even I wouldn't even classify it as a finance class and then I took international business which is where I found my love for business and that's when I decided okay I want to go into commerce so my average I think it was a 96 it was anywhere from a 94 to a 96 might have been a 95 we can just say that to play it safe but that was my average um my classes were like I did really well in my classes. The one class that you need, like you need an 85 in your grade 12 Cal course for Queens Commerce to be considered. Now I'm sure if you have a lower grade, but you have really good essays, you might still be able to get in, but it's just like the prereq, like you should have 85. Um, and I know that the average to get into Queens Commerce is quite high usually. Usually it's at least a 90, but I'm sure there are still people who do get in who have high 80s or even maybe mid 80s. Um, but normally what I've heard from people who are in my classes and stuff, it's mid 90s. To apply, um, you obviously need your transcripts and stuff. You can also have letters of recommendation, but you'll have to do three mini essays and these are I can't remember how many words they specifically are, but they're like less than a page. They're really short, um, but these are really important. So when I went to the uh, seminar that was basically talking about like Queen's Commerce and tips and tricks on how to get in at Queen's University when I was in grade 12 applying to different universities, they said that these essays are most important because they can take all, all of these kids who are on all of these clubs, playing all these sports, have all of these 97s in their classes, but they want people who stand out and um, can be set apart, who have these unique skills and qualities, which is why you really need to shine in these essays. So my essays, I focused on my YouTube channel, my indigenous um, hardships, and I also focused on mental health and my anxiety. So those are my three that I focused on. So it was entrepreneurship, my indigenous status and hardships, and then my mental health hardships. So those are what I focused my essays on. And I actually did get scholarships when coming to Queens. Now you can apply for scholarships at really any university. Um, it doesn't even have to be a university scholarship. You can just apply to scholarships for whatever and that can always help with financing. I didn't apply to any but I got them based on my essays. So that's why these essays are really important not only to get in but to also get scholarships if you want that and I didn't even know that I was going to get these scholarships or that I could have applied for them. So the two scholarships that I got, if you're curious, are I got um, a Métis scholarship for my Indigenous status and I got an entrepreneurial scholarship for my YouTube channel. Oh, I know we are already past um, the whole application process. Again, I'm so sorry, but you, mo I think usually you hear, I want to say in, in May, April, 
I'm not too sure, but I got early acceptance, so I heard a bit earlier, but I'm trying to remember. I think it's May when you normally hear back. I heard back, I want to say, like, early, early April, late March, I think. I'm not too sure, but all I know is that I got early acceptance and I got my scholarships, which is, like, crazy. I did not think I was gonna get into queens as it was but to get scholarships and early acceptance was like huge and the reason why i'm saying that is because um just kind of like the importance of those essays because i don't think i would have gotten in if my essays were bad i had so many different teachers at my high school um proofread those essays just to make sure that they sounded professional and they also evoked emotion <laughs> to the reader they were something that stuck when um, the admissions team was reading it because something that I didn't have, which a lot of these people who are in commerce have, I wasn't on debate club. I wasn't on any clubs in grade 12 or even grade 11. At any point in high school was I on any clubs. And I stopped playing sports um, grade 11. So by grade 12, I wasn't even playing rep soccer anymore. I wasn't playing any sports at school. I was literally just doing my classes and YouTube, which is why I really emphasize that in my essays because I didn't have any internship experience, any clubs, any sports to really help back me up that much as a lot of these other kids in commerce do who were on debate club, who were... Um, I don't know, school leadership, like all of that type of stuff I didn't have. And um, it's also great though, if you can put like your jobs, like talk about your jobs, talk about clubs, of course, talk about volunteering. Like if you did a bunch of volunteer hours, that's always amazing. Again, I only did the bare minimum of 40 volunteer hours, but there are some people who had like 200 volunteer hours, which obviously looks much better than me, which is why I needed to shine in my essays. So just really reiterating the important of the importance of those three mini essays. Like they're literally less than a page, so you gotta be straight to the point on why you are unique and why you should go to Queens. Now something to note also just about these essays, sorry, I know I'm really honing in on this, but this is what they honed in on on that um ad admin admin session? No admissions session was that at the end of your essays you should also talk about why specifically you want to go to queens why because of my youtube i want to go to queens commerce and how i'm going to make a difference um at queens now here's a little thing i lied at the end not necessarily but here's the thing i said for my youtube channel at the end oh I will start an ASMR club at Queens to help really immerse the Queens community into the ASMR community and help integrate these, um, I don't know, ASMR videos to help calm people's anxiety. Did I actually start an ASMR club at Queens? No, I am an introvert and that sounds absolutely terrifying, but it's a good way to wrap up the essay, okay? I wouldn't recommend making your whole essay a lie, but I have talked to a few people who have just wrapped it up like that, like, oh, I'll start a club at Queens, or, oh, I'll do XYZ, which is always great, and I mean, I could have started an ASMR club, it's not necessarily a lie, but I just, I just didn't, which is, you know, kind of where I'm leading to, but I could have, I could have, we'll blame it on COVID. Um, so always wrap it up with, like, what you'll do at Queens, and it's even better if you actually do um, do the things that you're saying because always that's great. <laughs> now some of the other schools I applied to, I applied to McMaster for their, they have a newer program which is um, for sustainability and business and I was really interested in that because they only took I want to say like 50 to 100 people. Queen's Commerce has a very low acceptance rate. Um, it's lower than Harvard Business and they take about 500 kids but McMaster was even smaller because it was this brand new program but the reason I didn't take that one was because it, I felt that was going to be a bit of a guinea pig. It wasn't as recognized. Um, so I did apply to that one and you got invited to a luncheon and stuff. And I'm pretty sure I also wrote an essay for that. I applied to Laurier Business. I wrote an essay about my Métis hardships for um, that school. I also applied to Guelph and um, I applied to Ryerson as well, Ryerson Business. The one school I didn't apply to was Western Ivy for business because I just had no desire to go to Western at all. But of all of those schools, I did get into all of them and obviously I chose Queens. Um, 
but I'm just saying that so you guys kind of know in terms of, okay, this, like me, this person got in and they had no clubs. They had no sports at the end of high school. I did sports up until grade 12, but they had no sports grade 12 and they still got into all of these schools that they applied to and their average was like a 95. So I'm just saying that so that you guys kind of know. And also I had the minimum amount of volunteer hours, 40 as well. So you can get in with just good grades. Um, but even if you don't have these good grades, that's why you really need to um, do really well on these essays because that's what's going to help get you in and set you apart. And that's also what's going to help you get um, some scholarships. I'm not sure if it's any easier to get in if you have any connections or if you have alumni in the family. I had no one who went to Queens. I mean, my mom was the first person in my family to go to university. So um, no alumni from Queens. And I actually don't know anyone from my school who went to Queens. I was a lone soldier going to Queens. Um, but it might be easier if you have alumni in the family. I'm not sure. But again, just saying that so you know, okay, it wasn't, I didn't have any connections helping me out there. Um, but if you can, if you live in Ontario near Kingston, definitely um, try to make it to these seminars where they talk about admissions and tips and tricks because I'm third year commerce, so I'm sure things have changed um, when applying. So if you can try to go to those, I'm sure they were held virtually for the past couple years, but it's always great. You can reach out to people on LinkedIn who go to Queens and ask for tips as well when applying um, or tips for essays and stuff if you have them. But really just um, focus on your essays, I would say is the biggest thing and have people proofread them. Um, Grammarly is going to be your best friend right now and also throughout university <laughs> and just try to be unique and yourself. You want to really set yourself apart. Um, so show your best assets. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was just like a quick little video, but I know it's been highly requested and I, um, wanted to give any little tips I had, which weren't that great, but <laughs> hopefully they helped a little bit in some capacity. If you guys have already heard back from your schools, I hope you did get into the schools you wanted and are excited to start university or college or a trade in the fall, whatever you're doing, or if you're taking a year off to just find yourself, work, whatever you want to do. Um, I hope you're happy and I hope everything's going well for you. Best of luck. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will try to reply as well. Again, I'm so sorry this video was late, but hopefully it helped in some little bit. Okay, I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video, which I'm pretty sure is going to be a full apartment tour since I now have my couch, which is what I'm sitting on. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.